All right, guys, welcome to another video. We're finally gonna do the bumpers on the truck. We got these awesome bumpers right here. We're gonna open these right up. These are Hook Road bumpers. Uh, we're gonna open these up, see what they're like, and then install them right there, right in the front. <laughs> All right, so we got the middle part of the bumper. We got the actual winch plate. It's pretty solid. This is thick steel right there. Um, we had the left side of it, the right side. Left and right already had the lights installed. The middle part, the lights are not installed. Lights are on the side here. Hardware in the box and tombaburros, bullhorn. Yeah, I, yeah, I want to say this. It's called bullhorn. Um, so it has a bullhorn and it has, even the bullhorn has a place for you to put a light if you want to put a light in here. Those should be the LED. Yeah. These are the regular recessed ones. That's some solid hardware also, look at that. Okay, but first, we gotta take that off. Okay, so just to make things easier, we're gonna take the fender off, because there's a couple bolts that are kind of holding this section up here. So we're removing the whole thing. So it's not, not just the chrome and lighting, but also this little top lip cover. Yep, two piece. All right, just taking each one of these out, eight millimeters. All the way around. As we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight all the way around, and we got two here in the middle. One here, one here. Okay, there's one clip also that just goes in here, pops right out. That's on the inside. All right, so under the bumper now, facing forward, engines over there. Now it's facing back, upside down, right? <laughs> on the driver's side. There is a plug that connects everything. So if you unplug that, uh, that sends the wires over to the fog lights and all the way to the other side. So you don't have to unplug these separately. You can just do them all in one. Okay. Then we're going to remove one, two, and three bolts on each side. On each side, this side also. And then once those are removed, we'll remove these that kind of hook onto the lip. And then it should come out, but there might be a couple more clips on the very edge. We'll see if that if we need to move, move those also. Why do I need to unplug since this has to come out? Oh. All right, so to remove this top cover, usually you can just pull it out a little bit. This can like push this back here, as you can see, it has kind of glue in there. Remove that glue. Okay, and then on the inside, we have a 10 millimeter. Not that one, there's actually a little one here on the side. Okay, now with it removed, it pops right out. Okay, is there anything else holding it in here? No, this should be just like a push, a push. You ready? Right? Yep. Done. Okay, so once that top cover covers off, we're gonna remove these and these, and these are just two 10 millimeter 10 bolts, millimeter. One, two on each side, okay? That's it. Just those four holds that on. So you need a 10 here because it's kind of tight in there. 10 millimeter wrench. I think that was a bad idea. <laughs> right. Okay, so these are pretty hard to get out because as you take them out, they hit the grill. But it is possible. Just turning it slowly. Do, don't use this side 
use the actual seaside and it'll come right out. And this Okay, so this, see how that just clamps in there? You, if you push it out, push it a little bit, it comes right out. Okay, right, so this is all the hardware. We're gonna start bolting it all together here, including the winch plate. Actually, not including the winch plate. We're gonna put just this part of the bumper together here, and the winch plate we'll put on afterwards so it connects to the back of that also. One thing about these bumpers is that there is a difference between the 2013 and up and these bumpers are for 2013 and up so you can still put this bumper on a 2012 or older but you have to change the grill which is what we're going to do also all right so we're going to go ahead and remove the grill All right, so what we got here is we got 10 of these, six of these, two and four, right? So it kind of makes sense. 10, you got five on each side, five and five. These, you have four, so you got two on each side, right? And then these go for the, go into the frame itself. Okay, we got the 19 millimeter bolts. Easily tighten them up. As tight as possible. We got five on each side. All right, so these are nice and tight, all bolted in. The winch plate goes right there, but we're gonna go ahead and install this section on the truck first. All right, so the way these line up, if you notice, this is a smaller space and this is a bigger space. So there's one of these that's wider, and one of these that's a little not as wide. So it goes on that side, it's on this side. All right, it takes a little bit of struggle and don't drop the back bracket because it doesn't fall out, right? Then you have to struggle. Oh. Then you might look like a dumbass trying to pull it out. <laughs> right, Vic? <laughs> I don't know. I played the fifth. Oh, so the bottom one went in easy, huh? All right, so let me tighten this up. And another trick also is hold to hold this in. Just hold the the, water, the bolt there. Just kind of leave it level. Bolt bumper is done. We're gonna add a little LED bar holder. Bull, bull bar? Yeah. Okay. Like a bull horn, like it's a bull horn yeah. type. Yeah. And then, um, but uh, technically they're calling it top rack. Top rack bull yeah. bar. All right, adding, so now we're adding the bull bar in there. 13 millimeter bolts. Top and bottom both. Yeah. Okay, the full bumper is assembled with bull bar and everything. So we have three bolts here on each side. These are gonna go here, two and one both sides so this is gonna be the challenge of us kind of holding it up to slide it in okay so this is actually an 18 on this side and a 19 on this side so they use one for each which goes here you could decide where you want the bolt but it kind of makes more sense to have the bolt on this side and apply the, I'm sorry the yeah the bolt on this side and the nut on this side apply pressure easier All right guys, so the bumper is on, nice and tight, everything bolted in. We 
didn't get the new grill in time, but we're putting a 2013 or 2019 grill on here. So according to what we researched, it just bolts on exactly where the other one is and it has an exact cut here. If you notice, this one doesn't have that, right? So this grill doesn't fit on here, right? But overall, a couple things that we'd say we could do better. I mean, it didn't come with the wiring, so we wish we would have had some wiring there. Um, if we had the wiring, the lights would already be all hooked up to the corner. The other thing is some of these bolts, it looks like the, this whole thing was painted after and not, they didn't cover up where the bolts went. So a couple of them stripped, this one and that one specifically stripped. Um, okay, and then the way it kind of lines up, it makes everything kind of really tight. So it really pushes the light enclosure up into the fender because everything's just so tight in here. Same thing on this side, it just pushes everything up and in, see? This is not done, we still gotta put the bolts in here to make this all go back in. Okay, so to clarify, to make sure this all makes sense. This is a coat. Mm -hmm. And when they coat the, like when they coated this whole bumper, they did not cover up where the threads were. So the threads themselves actually had a little bit of thickness to it so when we try to put these bolts in there it didn't go through and these right here you see how it kind of got stripped right now if we would have known we would have brought something to, to clean the threads before we in, we'd started anything so if you know that happens to you it might be a good idea to clean these out or to retap them okay one thing I recommend on these is actually tighten them up with the screwdriver because people will steal these. So you want to make these somewhat tight. Which means you just put the screwdriver in here and just help turn it. All right, so in Texas, you have to have a front license plate. So instead of putting it on the windshield, we're gonna put it on here. So we tap a couple screws in there. In a couple holes so make it right in the middle covering up where the winch goes all right guys so we don't have the grill yet right so we want to go ahead and see if we can add maybe keep this grill on there for now and tap it in there so we're going to actually cut here kind of just eyeball it and cut there on each side and see if we can make it line and slide right in if we need to cut more we'll cut a little more All right, guys, so we cut a little bit extra, but look at that. Just for now, it's not bad. All right, so once you get the new grill, it has a little less, I'm sorry, a little more curve to this also. And this is going to be a little bit lower. So we'll have that gap there. All right, guys, so all in all, this is definitely uh, you know, 10 out of 10 as far as style. It looks great. The way it kind of angles in, the LED lights it has in the front, I, mean, I, th I think it has a great look. It adds a, you know, just an aggressive front look to the truck. Quality, maybe not the best. I'd maybe say maybe 8 out of 10, maybe even less than that. Because there's a lot of little things that we kind of had to work through. Um, also, this is definitely for a 2013 or 2019 if you don't want to replace the grill. If, you wanna, if you're okay with replacing the grill, maybe upgrading the grill to a, a newer modern grill or the new Ram grill then yes, this is definitely the bumper to go because the way that the new grill lines up to it is perfect. Just buy the grill, buy the bumper, both in one. It'll look badass. Okay, what else? The LED lights, the way that they stripped, we already talked about that. Um, the wiring, I wish it would have come with some wiring so we would have had this all done in one day. But now we have to come back and finish the wiring all the way around because we didn't bring any wires. I love the idea that it does have the bracket for an, it looks like a, maybe like a 20 inch, maybe 20, 24 inch LED bar. Uh, maybe we'll add that in the future also. If you do want to keep, if you don't want to keep the original grill, we were able just to cut out maybe about two, three inches off the side on each side and it'll fit fine. It does leave a little gap right here, but it doesn't look too bad. Um, it's a good temporary fix again until you get the newer grill, if that's what you're looking for. 
Also, the, the way these mud flaps stand, and actually the ones on the passenger side stand a little lower, but see how they kind of come out? Um, if they added like a little something to tie it down here, it'd be awesome. Or uh, I've seen some that have an actual bar where you can connect from here to there, like across, and it'll hold, it'll hold this whole thing in. It just you know, tucks it in and doesn't move out of the way. So now we're gonna have to come back and either cut these out or really secure them inside so they don't move. Drill some holes and use push on plugs. Yeah, drill some holes and put some plugs in here to hold it in. We did have this because it's not, I mean, it's not factory, it's aftermarket and it's not perfect. So this, you know, maybe a, a half inch here or a quarter inch somewhere else moves there a little bit. We noticed that when we were tightening up the bolts on the bottom, it was actually pushing up against this headlight and it was pushing this out some. So we're worried that it was gonna break the headlight itself or just push it way too high up against the fender. Okay, so we're gonna go pick up some electrical wire, 16 gauge, about 10 feet will do, a red and a black, and this is specifically for vehicle lighting. So we're gonna run the wires eventually from here, connect all this here and around to that side, to that side, and up to that corner there to connect into here. So make it all one. Okay, so we're running the wires straight from the plug light connectors, and we're gonna go ahead and remove this. You can splice into it, or you can just remove it. It's easier for us to remove it. All right, so this is one side, that's the other side. I'm gonna keep them separate, we're just gonna cut them off. So leave enough space in case you need to reuse this plug. All right, so these connectors here, you can actually buy one online. They're under 20 bucks, you can get it, and you can plug it in, and it'll work perfectly. So you just plug it in, hide it, and you can unplug it and plug it back in whenever you need to. What we did is the same thing what we did with these uh, headlights to figure out which is the, you know, the, the which wire goes to what. And so the way it works out here, you can kind of see it on this side. There's a, there's a ground wire, and then there's the power wire, and then these two line up and these two line up. Left side and right side, okay? Turn them on? Turn them on real quick? One side is on, one more side to do. Okay, we ran the positive negative wire down all the way to the very end, to the very last light. This one right here, all right? And then from here, we spliced in for the middle light, which is that one right there. That one, turn out both light works. We put a zip tie also to kind of keep everything kind of snug here. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of align this also and probably wrap it. But for now, one side is done. We've got to work on the other side now. All right, so we got the black and the white with yellow and, yeah, just white and yellow. And on the other side, we have another black with a white and it's like an orange. -ish. Right, so this goes to passenger side, this goes to driver side. Nice and tight and shrink wrapped. We ended up wrapping this a little bit here. We're gonna feed it through the back here. All right, good deal. So we have wires coming out of there, going to both left left side of the headlights, I mean the fog lights, this side and this side. And the other one going to the other side. We removed the zip tie because we're going to re-zip tie it and snug it in a little better. But now, I should have all of them on. Alright guys, there it is. Fog lights working perfect. Um, we tested them out and they actually give pretty good light. We'll do a video also on how it lights up at night also. All 
All right, guys, check out hookroad.com. I'm actually very impressed by the website. They have great pictures and great videos and excellent descriptions on all their products. They have all kinds of accessories for a variety of vehicles. Jeep, Ram, Toyota, Ford, Chevy. This is specifically the bumper we just installed in the front. But don't forget to like and subscribe because we're doing the back bumper next. Thanks again for watching. Here's a final clip of us driving around with the fog lights. On and off. Deuce.